All right, awesome. Yeah, that was taken uh, right up on the bridge over there. So, my name is Danielle from the introduction, and I just kind of wanted to talk to you guys today, today about being confident, because I think that's something that's super important, especially when we're in the STEM field, because it means we need a little bit more of it. So, I am confident, and I'm confident because I'm declaring that I'm confident. Very I'm confident because I'm giving a speech, right? Better damn well be confident about your time on you. And I'm super confident also about the fact that today I'm going to make a lot of mistakes. And I'm going to make a lot of mistakes during this speech, probably. So we'll see how it goes. Jaya heard the speech, so she can be like, yeah, she definitely didn't screw up. <laughs> um, so, trying new things is really, really important, right? We have to be confident in order to go and try those new things. And you're all here today because you wanted to try something new. And the people who put on this event wanted to try something new, and now we are here to experience that and celebrate that. So, who's, uh, is this your first ever UCR Bio Hacker Union? Good, because it is the first UCR mile hack, right? <laughs> Cheap joke, I know, but I had to get you in there. So again, we're all here together trying something new. No one here has done this before. So take comfort in that. But we're all going to make mistakes today, and it's going to be hard today, but it's definitely going to be worth it. Because I think we can all agree that when we try something new, that that makes life a lot more exciting and a lot more fun. No? Yes. <laughs> so, cue story time, because I have to sneak in an anecdote here, right, because it's a speech. So, six years ago, I moved into AI, and I was super stoked to come on campus, because every time I stepped on the UCR, it just felt like home. Like, it just really felt like I was supposed to be here and I was supposed to go to school here. However, if you go back an hour and a half in that day, I was bawling in the car with my mom. That's my mom right over there. Um, she said she's awesome. But yeah, just straight up bawling. Mom, I can't do this. I don't want to do this. Don't make me go to school. Like, it's not okay. I was 18, just like ugh, ugly crying. And she was like, Psh, no, okay, you're going to school. <laughs> but you're going to school because I raised an independent daughter. I raised a daughter who was strong and smart and confident. And I raised a daughter who could handle anything that's thrown in her path. And when she wiped away my tears, I knew that she was right. But change can be scary. Like, change can be downright frightening. But change can also bring in this new energy into your life. So six years ago, I was in this very classroom taking my first ME class with Dr. Prince of Ac, and he's the in Prince of Ac, and just like, this is not like rocket science. This is rocket science. And I was like, what? Okay. Um, what did I just get myself into? And also, like, I still get super excited. Like, I was super juiced about it. Like, yeah, I'm a rocket scientist. Mm. Um, and so it was scary, and it was frightening, because what did I just get myself into? But also, so excited about the journey and what was to come. Because it's all about the journey. It's all about where you're going to go. And I wouldn't be here today, standing right here, if it wasn't for the journey. And I wouldn't be here today, just in my life in general, if I didn't just take it on multiple more and just go for it. So six years ago, I moved into AI. It took me five years to get my degree, but last year, I graduated with my bachelor's degree in mechanical engineering and my minor in math, because I'm a really big nerd. And by the way, it does not get... Like, it, every time you say that you graduated from a degree, it's just, oh, it's just such an awesome feeling. But I'm an engineer, and I'm a mathematician, but I'm super excited more to call myself a founder. So um, after I...
got my degree pretty much right after graduation, a week later, walk into a job. Um, and I'm working for the US Navy, the Department of the Navy, as a test and evaluations engineer. My job is blow stuff up. And I was working for the, yeah. <laughs> I was working for the Marine Corps, and it was cool, right? But after nine months, I was like, I don't know. No. And so after nine months, I quit my job, even after the whole world tells you that you have to, like a requirement, have to be at your job for at least a year. I was like, no. I quit my cushy job, because as an engineer, you're making good money. And I did that to work on my side hustle. And my side hustle is now what I do full time. And that is Nathan Mainstream. I'm the founder of Nathan Mainstream. So I launched that company in January, well, officially launched it in January of this year. And I started working on it full time in February of this year. So you are all seeing me as a very new entrepreneur. And I don't know what I'm doing, guys. Like, let's be honest. I'm an engineer. That's what I was trained to do and trained to be. I'm a mathematician. That's what I was trained to do. I'm not a businesswoman, but every day I'm trying to be one. I'm only 23 years old. I don't, what is the world? Like, I, how do you be an adult? I don't understand. I'm still figuring it out, but every day I get better and I get stronger and I work harder and I work smarter because every day I'm trying something new. And I've gotten really good at trying new things and that's why I'm so confident. And I've gotten real good at failing. Like, I'm a professional failure. I'm not making any money yet. I'm gonna be big one day, watch. <laughs> but I'm just waking up Going to my desk, petting my corgi, starting my day. All right, what are we gonna fail at today? So I'd like to declare again, my name is Danielle, and I am a confident failure. I know that sounds crazy, but that is what I am. And I, that is what you all should be as well. Because today, you're gonna try a lot of new things. Today you're gonna make a lot of mistakes and you're gonna come up with a lot of really good ideas and really bad ideas. But that is amazing and I'm so excited for you guys to do that today. Like if you do anything else today, please fail. Because failure, you guys, is the only tried and true pathway to success. We're engineers here, we like steps, we wanna make sure that we're checking boxes off and going through, we wanna make sure our code is pretty, you want life to be pretty? Fail. Like that is the way that it's going to work out. Because every year that I was at UCR, there were a lot of experiences like me falling in the car with my mom, with my friends, under desks. I like to sit under desks when I'm <coughs> nervous or when I'm like, I can't handle everything. Let me be a troll. And it's new material, it's harder classes, it's new jobs, it's new roommates, it's all that stuff, it's all that change, and it's really scary, but it's also really exciting. Because that means, again, getting better, getting stronger, getting smarter, you're working harder, you're becoming more confident. So today, I really, really want you to fail. And that sounds horrible, but it's because I want you to succeed. And Today is so much bigger than you. It's so much bigger than this event because what you make today is actually going to make an impact on this world. Because what you make today is going to put you into something else. Today is bigger than all of us. We're gonna create something and we're gonna learn something new. You're gonna teach someone else something new. It's gonna be awesome. I'm so confident in you guys and what you're going to create today. My name is Danielle, and I'm the founder of Nathan Main Street. If you want to learn more about that, because I know I didn't really explain what that is, because um, I got really juiced about the confidence thing. And yeah, come and talk to me. Let's talk about confidence. Let's talk about failing today, because it's going to be awesome. If you do anything today, I hope that it's this. I hope that you become a confident failure. Thank you very much.